cheeky little uh, training guide on Martinelli because I think he's fairly easy to train up. Um, I genuinely think he's fairly easy to train up uh, when you look at his stats and stuff. I mean, he's got, like, like, as a left midfielder, he can play left wing as well. So the two options for me when I'm going to be training him up are either for, like, a hard-working left midfielder that can cut in and, like, with a lot of passing, or else somebody that are that is genuinely just going to be balls-to-the-wall speed. Like, that's the only way you can train him up. Um, and obviously, Martinelli, if I got him, he fits in with what I'm trying to do with the squad. He's got 90 long ball counter, uh, team play style proficiency, and a sub-tactic of out wide. He's got speeding bullet. He's got Marseille turn. He's got cut behind and turn. Heel trick, which is always nice for the contextual stuff. First time shot, track back. I would probably play counter target on him if I'm using him as a left winger. But if I'm using him as a left mid, I'm going to leave the track back on him, right? So for me, that's kind of how I would train him up. We'd have two different versions of him. He's got 26 levels to go. And this is how we would train him, right? So um, when we go over to eFootballDB here... This is going to be the left midfielder version of him, right? So we're not going to, we're going to completely ignore uh, shooting. We're just going to focus on his passing. We're going to get that to about 78 because we want the passing to be fairly high for swinging the balls in. He has outside curler. Even though he doesn't have early cross or pinpoint cross, we'll leave that at 11 for now because he'll get the boost to low pass with the form arrow um, and he'll get the boost to laugh, lofted pass as well. We might have a look at that in a second. We also want him to be a good dribbler. We don't need him to be an absolutely insane dribbler. Um, like, we, we, you know, if he's not going to be a winger, we don't need his dribbling to be that good. And what we want is because he's got high speed and high stamina, we just want to kind of, um, we just want to like boost that up a little bit. We want to get that offensive awareness to 80. And then we want to just tap up this a little bit as well. Now, I probably think for me, um, as a 93 overall player there, I would say the passing is probably a little bit too high there. So I'd probably max that out with eight into passing and then I would probably put three more into um, his speed uh, to get it to 12 and then I would probably put one more into dexterity to get 95 speed 88 stamina stamina is going to get a boost when he's got the form arrow over 90 acceleration is going to be over 90 dribbling is going to be over 90 and speed is going to be about 95 96 now that is for a left midfielder man that is kind of where I would be going because of the track back right and because he's flowman fl flowman flank flowman rank roman flank um, so that's kind of where I would go, uh, with him. If you were looking for a left midfielder version of him, if that makes sense. Okay. Now there is better left midfielders there because his passing isn't exactly, you know, as crisp as some of those guys. And he doesn't have one touch pass. He doesn't have pinpoint crossing. He doesn't have early cross. He doesn't have low lofted or weighted. So for me, he's probably a, a waste there at that position. So I think that the winger position is probably the best one, this version of him. So we're going to completely ignore passing on this one. Um, he doesn't have one-touch pass, but all we're going to be doing is cutting inside. We're going to max that out to 90 with the dribbling, 8 and 8 here, right? We're going to have 93 on that. We're going to go about 6, maybe about that on that. We don't need as high stamina with this version of him. Um, we don't need aerial strength. We don't need defending. And then all we're going to do is max this out at around 78, maybe 80, 8 into that. And then we're obviously going to just tweak up his acceleration again to have one point left. If we want to go that route, um, we can put one more into passing to get the loft to pass up to 70. So that would be a wing version of him. Um, 96 acceleration, 90 balance, 90 dribbling. Pretty decent winger. Uh, he doesn't have prolific winger there, obviously. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. But that is just a quick, if you are looking at a player like that, it is a quick one if you wanted to go um, for a wing option there, right? We've also got Tommy Yasu who will throw into this pack as well. We'll do a duo here. We've got Tommy Yasu. Uh, we've got two versions of him. I've already kind of covered this. Uh, Usman, welcome in, bro. Benzu, I don't think these Monday packs will work. Yeah, I think uh, I think these packs now, man, are really for newcomers, to be honest with you. Um, but this dribbling or this right midfield or right back version of him, lads, is just going to be all about pace, power, and uh, stamina. That's kind of where we're going to train him. Get that to 88. Um, defensively, we're not going to max that out as much as we will with the defensive version of him, the centre-back version of him. We just want him as an all-round um, kind of uh, right back. You know, you've got all his stats into the 80s, um, is really, really strong as a right back. Um, but I definitely do think that there are better right backs than him here. Um, I know he's got heading, interception, areas, priority, and slide and tackle, but a lot of that is going to be missed if you are playing him as a right back, right? Now, because he's a defensive fullback, he will be naturally defensive with that defensive awareness, which is nice compared to some offensive uh, right backs or wing backs. But I definitely think the center back version of him is the way to go, right? Pop four into aerial, 
and then i probably pop two into this to get 75 speed i pop four into acceleration to get that and then we're going to have 16 into defending which leaves us with 92 96 93 and 92 without any boots man so i genuinely think that that is a monster player and then depending on how we want to train him or how we want to play him we can pop one more into uh, dexterity to have 76 acceleration or else if you wanted to you could pop another uh, two into this to get him up to 87 jump if you wanted to pop two into that right i have the big time tommy yasu on my other account lads and i genuinely think he probably is one of the best players in the game um he's an absolute unit in that middle of the pitch right in that middle central area especially if you're playing three at the back but that is martinelli and tommy yasu so that's just two quick training guides if you're looking for that